Our final topic for today is solving. Solve means find a value that makes an equation true. Solve means to find a value that makes an equation true. Okay, let's, let's see what I mean. Okay, it's, and it's a value of the variable. And we'll even do this, look. It could be a variable. Later in the year, it's even gonna be two variables. Okay, but for right now, we're just gonna find a value of a variable that makes the equation true. So, here's some examples. x plus 7 equals 10. What value of x makes this equation true? So remember, in order for it to be true, this side is equal to 10. The other side has to be equal to 10 as well. So what value could I put here for x that would make x plus 7 equal to 10? So you might just think to yourself, okay, let's see, what number plus 7 equals 10? Oh, it's 3, right? You could do it that way, okay, for sure. You could just say x equals 3. Maybe you could just do that in your head. But the other way that always, always works is you can kind of, you do the opposite of whatever is with the variable. So for example, here I have this seven with the variable. And so if I think, okay, well, I need a number plus seven to equal 10. So that would be the same as 10 minus seven, right? If I, cause I okay, I say, hmm, this is x plus seven. I look, notice I'm doing the opposite, 10 minus seven and x equals three. Okay, you can kind of just do it in your head, or you can, uh, this is called doing inverse operations, right, where I have addition and I'm subtracting from both sides. You've seen this before. Okay, what about this? A minus 3 equals 19. What's this A? Eh, it's the same as X, right? Any letter just represents a variable. It represents uh, a number that we don't know the value of. So what number minus 3 equals 19? Let's think about it. What's A going to equal? What number minus 3 equals 19? Let's see, I'm going to subtract a number, so it's going to have to be bigger than 19. And I'm going to take away 3, so it has to be 3 more than 19, right? Like, I need a number that I can take away 3 from, and it's 19. So you might just do that in your head and get 22. Or you might say, okay, well, that's like the same as me adding this 3 to the 19 and get 22. Here's another example. 3n equals 30. Okay, again, notice we have a different letter. Meh, doesn't matter. It's just uh, a letter means a number we don't know the value of. Okay. Hmm, this is three, what is this? When there's a number right next to a letter, that means multiply. Okay, this says three times n equals 30. So what number, three times what number equals 30? Three times what number equals 30? And you might think, hmm, three times 10 equals 30. Or another way of thinking about it is saying, okay, well, if I'm gonna multiply a number times three to get 30, I would have to do the opposite. I'd have to divide, divide 30 by three to get my answer. Okay, last example. X over four equals five. Okay, if this says X, what does this mean? This means divide. This says X divided by four equals five. Some number, some number X, when I divide it by four, I get five. What number divided by four gets you five? Hmm. So you might just think of it and say, well, 20 divided by four is five. Or you might say, okay, well, let's see what I would have to do. I'd have to kind of do the opposite. This is division. So if I want to find out X, a number divided by four equals five, I'd have to multiply five times four. Okay, and this is what you're gonna do next.